Good evening. I'm putting this short video together to welcome the community back to school. Keep in mind that the district staff has worked diligently over the summertime to prepare campus for the start of school on Wednesday, August 23rd, 2023. This information is designed to provide an overview for district updates that will ensure a successful start of the new school year. The contents of this message will be posted at acbsd.org. Please access the website and listen to the full welcome back video address. I will touch on transportation, school calendar, day-to-day -day operations, school safety, health and safety planning, and communication protocol, as well as other important items. In the meantime, we are still having problems with our phone system. Please contact 724-659-4661 for the high school. And if you're reaching the elementary school, please contact extension 1102 or extension 2208 for transportation related issues. There has been a transportation tab added to the acbsd.org website that you can access for additional transportation information. Alternatively, you can speak to Mrs. Sherman anytime with questions or concerns. Just know that we'll do our very best to keep everyone safe and we ask of your cooperation as well. Please have students stay at least five feet away from the bus stop while waiting for the bus to arrive and do not enter the bus until the red lights are flashing and on display before walking on. Students who plan to drive to school we ask that you drive slowly and schedule a time so that you do not have to rush to get to school. In addition, the student drivers will need to have their driver's license and insurance card to obtain a parking permit for the high school parking lots. The parking permit can be obtained in the high school office. The AC Valley School Calendar is posted at the website and located in our student handbooks and in the office for pickup if you choose to do so. To ensure a successful start of the school year, please be aware of a few important updates. Students first day of school is Wednesday. The district will be closed on September 4th for Labor Day and students will be off school on October 5th and October 6th for an Act 80 day and the ALF day. Just note that on October 5th we plan to have a parent-teacher conference as well as open house in the evening so please plan appropriately. We will also dismiss 45 minutes early prior to Thanksgiving break on November 22nd and Christmas break on December 22nd. The last student day is on May 24th and dismissal at the elementary will be 11.15 a.m. and the high school will be 11.30 a.m. Day-to-day operations. The elementary school and junior senior high school will have staff on duty at 7.30 a.m. for morning arrival. There will be free breakfast at both buildings and if you plan to drop your child off, please do so at or after 7.30 a.m. During the school year, if your child is absent from school, please submit an excuse less than three days after the absence. In addition, if you're planning to take an educational trip, you will need to complete the educational form prior to leaving on your trip. This form is available in the offices. Please do your best to avoid the PSSA and Keystone testing from April 22nd to May 10th. Finally, communication is a key to our success in educating our students. If your child is having academic, behavioral, or mental concerns, contact the office and we will direct your call to the appropriate staff. If your child is struggling academically, we ask that you first call the child's teacher. We have highly qualified teachers who are experts in their field and can help you with any questions. If it's a behavioral or mental concern, the school counselors and principals will help and remember that if you see something or hear anything that is safety related, please dial 911 or contact the district office at 724-659-5820. School safety. The school board and administrative staff takes great pride in providing a safe and secure learning environment. I am the safety and security coordinator and I work closely with officer Dave Sittler. 
Officer Sittler has many years of experience as a police officer in Pennsylvania and is serving as our police officer here at AC Valley. Please understand that Officer Sittler carries a firearm and is well equipped to provide the highest level of safety while on campus. In addition to Officer Sittler, we also have an MOU with the Clarion State Police and the Emleton Borough Police to provide additional support throughout the school week. We have also made several safety related upgrades on campus this summer and will continue to do our very best with the additional financial support from the state for physical and mental safety. However, to ensure our safety on campus, we need help from you as well. So again, if you see something out of the ordinary, please say something. Contact 911 or the office. Please help to keep our students safe by reporting anything and everything. The district will do our part as well. We will be conducting safety drills throughout the year, and the first drill will be conducted within the first month of school. An outside guest, the safety and security of our students and staff is the utmost importance to us. Parents, adult residents, and other guests are welcome throughout the day to both the elementary and junior, senior, and high school, but we will have one entry point, and we ask that you bring your license with you uh, so that we can identify um, all guests before entering the building. We are also incorporating a school board approved program to help students with their mental well-being and academic success. Beginning on October 1st, 2023, our students will log into a rhythm app at the beginning of the day and provide the teachers and counselors private updates as far as their well-being for the day. There are simple emojis, smiley face and frown faces as far as how the students are doing. And if you have any questions about this program, please contact one of the principals or myself in the district office. Our health and safety plan. Just like in years past, we asked that if your child is sick, to stay home. We will continue to promote uh, hand washing, fresh air circulation, and do our best to keep sickness of all kinds out of the district. Communication. We will continue to use the school messenger phone system and the acbsd.org website for a primary means of communication. If you have any questions that you cannot find on the website, please contact the elementary school when the phones are up and running at 724-659-3555. The junior senior high school is at 724-659-4661 and the district office is 724-659-5820. Athletics. In order to provide our students with appropriate extracurricular offerings, AC Valley continues to add cooperative agreements with the Union School District. As we prepare for the football season, we have chosen to play all our home games at the Union School District until we're able to renovate our football field. We have an AC Valley Foundation that was created to accept tax write-offs and donations. If you would like to make a donation for the football field, track, or even the auditorium, please go to the acbsd.org website and scan the URL code for the ACB Foundation. Students who are in need of accident insurance, there's information about the CHIP insurance program on the district website. CHIP provides quality, comprehensive health insurance to uninsured students who are eligible. And keep in mind that all students who participate in extracurricular activities are required to carry insurance. And to finish off with a few other items, AC Valley District School Board policies are located on the district website. Just go to the school board access and check out the um, policies under the district tab. Policies that should be noted, immunization policy 203, school wellness policy 247, unlawful harassment policy 248, bullying policy 249, homeless youth 251, special education 113, and computer acceptable use policy at 815. All our federal programs information can be located at acvsd.org under the federal programs tab. Please review or contact Carrie Longo, the federal programs coordinator at 724-659-3555. The district will continue to test our water at various locations throughout the school year and will continue to add filtering systems to the water fountains to help purify and keep the water safe throughout the year. Breakfast will be free, but lunches are increasing by 10 cents. The cost for lunch will be $2.65.
In closing, I would like to ask all parents and guardians to be involved in your child's education. Be sure to contact your child's teacher or the principal if you have any questions or concerns. Have a great evening and I'll see you tomorrow morning and I wish everybody the best on a very successful school year.